Alright, we're Yep. <laughs> Alright, part <laughs> three. This video is going to be really, really long. We have many words to say. Uh, so, I'm not we sure might, where the last part stopped, so I might, might be repeating myself. But, I was very tired. had been uh, basically we're rolling, away we're for rolling back into the 40 OR. hours. Get, Sarah's getting into the OR for emergency uh, surgery. C-section. C-section. It's a surgery. <laughs> uh, and I realized that uh, Rebecca, who has stayed awake all night and been sending me messages for updates, I didn't actually message her. I messaged my mom way earlier. So Rebecca didn't find, find out that uh, her daughter was going into emergency C-section surgery. It, 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 it's, I don't know. it's just a C-section. <laughs> words. We, we don't get along. I thought that you had checks with my mom. Not yeah. until right as we were going in. Oh, so she got one text as we were going in, going into emer emergency C-section. Uh, uh, we'll let you know details. Then radio silence for probably about an hour. So... <laughs> as we were rolling into the, well, as I was rolling into the OR, so and they told, they told, you know, they were like, I think you kissed me, and they had him wait in the recovery room until I was prepped and ready to go, and... It's a long wait. Yeah. I mean, it's, the OR is a different kind of place. I mean, it was like, I remember it just, it was so bright, and it was freezing cold, and at this point, I was still burning up, but the, at the cold, I mean, I, they kept saying how cold it was, but to me, it felt... Good because I was so hot still from that fever, and I remember the uh, the anesthesiologist um, kept like he he put like a cool rag on my forehead and three cheers to that anesthesiologist <laughs> by the way they <laughs> yeah Dr. Ruiz so they did that I remember I could not feel anything like below my waist essentially I couldn't feel anything. And, and then they put like the numbing stuff on my belly so I couldn't feel that and I remember, I don't think I've even ever told you this, but I remember when they had transferred me like from the hospital bed to the OR table, at one point my leg, like one of my legs fell, like they didn't have my <laughs> leg and it was like I almost fell off oh. the table because my leg fell and it was sudden and, and they were like, they started laughing and they were like, did you even know your leg fell? And I'm like, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Apparently it was a whole thing. I could like I could not feel anything. So but they did that. Yeah. They had my arms like pulled across and they were putting like the shield up and I remember we had asked for a clear drape so that when they pulled you out I could see you. That was pointless, but um so then they let you come in. Yep, this was um after it had already started. Uh it's the weird Sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Hold on, hold on. One moment. One moment, one moment. Yep, we're good. Well, the battery's not dead yet. <laughs> okay, so it's really kind of disturbing that they walk me in after they've already started. I couldn't really see anything, and I'm not the squeamish type, but I could see plenty of blood. Like, there's little bits of blood everywhere. There's blood on the floor. Like, it kind of looked like they were murdering someone. And so then they just walk me up and sit me by, by uh, your head, and it's just, they do the whole thing, just all of a sudden, like after just, they're working and talking and chatting like they're in the office or something. There was one moment that the anesthesiologist told me, he said, there's going to be one point that you feel like you can't breathe. And I was like, okay. But, whew. There was one point when they were, because I could hear them, like, stretching, if that makes sense. Like, stretching me to get you out. And I don't know why doing stuff, like, down below, like, I felt it, like, up here in my chest. But I, I really thought that I was dying. <laughs> and, oh, I just kept thinking, like, it seemed so long, but then at the same time it seemed so short. Because I remember, like... I felt like all the stretching that they said I would feel, and I kept thinking, like, where's the baby, where's the baby, where's the baby, because it, it seemed so long. But then, and like, and then I think I, I heard you say, like, she's out, and they were they were lowering the drapes. Like, it, I, it, 
I could It's not see. a very clear drape. It well, it was it was fine. It was clear, but it like only part of it's clear, like the top part's clear. So they had to pull you up, and they didn't pull you up far enough, so I could only see like the the very very top of like your forehead. So I, I didn't get to see you for a little bit, and I and when they when you were out, I kept thinking like, where's her cry? Again, everything just seemed so long to me because. It was so crazy and stressful, but I kept thinking, like, where's your cry? And then I, when I heard her cry, she was already, like, like, toward, yeah. like, in the corner of the room so towards the table. But it was, like, the best, like, the best sound I've ever heard in my life is hearing you cry for the first time. Because I was like, holy cow, she's real. Yeah, there you, she's real. You did, not, <laughs> you did not cry straight away until they had you on the weighing table and started messing with you. They had me walk over away from Sarah while they were still still working on her. And uh, it, I, I was sure I was going to break down crying before I, like I've been prepared for this. And then just seeing this little curly red-headed girl, <laughs> I just, it, like you were just there. And I was stunned. I was so stunned that I couldn't like, I couldn't think, I couldn't breathe, I just was looking and the nurses had to remind me to take pictures because my wife would be mad if I didn't. Because <laughs> I didn't get to see any of that. I didn't yeah. get to see you come out with, you know, all the like goopy cheese.